Okay, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to write a Vim macro to do a very simple RSpec refactoring. So I have a, a spec open right now, and you'll notice that lines 7 and 12 uh, are identical. So what we're going to want to do is extract this out into a before each block. Uh, so we're going to write a macro that will do this for us. So the first thing I'm going to do is highlight um, the line I want to extract in visual mode. Now, in this example, there's only one line that I'm pulling out into the block, but I'm intentionally writing this macro in such a style that it will work for any number of lines. Okay, so now that my line is highlighted, I'm going to start recording the macro. Now, you start recording macros in Vim by hitting Q, uh, and then next you give it the name of the register where you want to store the macro. So this time, I'm going to just store it in Q. So I'm storing uh, this macro in the Q register, and Vim is telling me down here that it's recording. So I've got my line highlighted. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, delete it into a particular register. Uh, so you can say quote T for the T register and then D for delete. And that just deletes that text and stores it in the T register uh, because I want to get at it in a second. So now I've deleted my line. Uh, I want to go backwards uh, to above this it statement to write uh, be the before each do block. But where I really want to put this is right below the describe block. So I'm going to search backwards for describe. Uh, and then I'm going to write my block before each do. I'm going to add the end now because uh, it's easier and come back up here. So now uh, I want to uh, put in the contents of the T register, which are the lines that we deleted, quote TP. Uh, and I have moved my uh, repeated line up out into a before each block. Um, now I'm going to end the macro. So I've recorded the macro into Q, uh, and it's that series of steps. All right, so let's undo what we've done and see the macro in action. So I undo my way back to here. Okay, now I highlight the line uh, that I want to extract, and I say at Q to execute the macro in the Q register. Boom. Uh, so it does that one move. Now you'll notice that it does not get rid of uh, this duplicated line down here. Um, I'm doing this intentionally. You can uh, you could make it so that now uh, at the end of the macro, we would search uh, the rest of the buffer for this line and delete it. But I'm a little bit worried that that will break tests potentially. If this were done at the top of a big line of tests and this line appeared somewhere else in a describe block lower, on, uh, lower down, I'd be worried about it. Uh, so I'm going to uh, have to still pull this repeated line out manually, but it's still nice not to have to come up here and uh, put this block together myself. Now, just to prove to you that it works, uh, I want to show you what this looks like when there's multiple lines. Let's just put foo here. Uh, so if I highlight these both lines, uh, and then I run at Q, it gets both of them. Um, so we've got this useful macro in Q, and that's cool, uh, but it's going to disappear when you restart Vim. So now let's go add this uh, to uh, my VimRC so that I can reuse this. Okay, so now we want to bind the contents of the Q register to a leader command. Uh, I'm going to do this uh, on a leader command called leader BED, short for before each do. And you'll notice I'm using a VMAP here. I'm saying when we're in visual mode, uh, make this leader command active. Uh, these commands are active all the time. These VMAP ones are active only when you have something highlighted in visual mode or you're in visual mode at all. Uh, so I'm going to access it with BED before, before each do, and now I need to uh, dump in the contents of the Q register, which is our macro. So I say quote Q P. Now unfortunately, there's kind of a bunch of junk in here. All this blue stuff um, are keyboard uh, control characters. So the caret M's are when we hit enter. Uh, there's a couple of them. Uh, this caret uh, open brace is when I hit escape, and I don't actually know what this is. This, this is just like total junk that crept in here, so I'm going to pull it out entirely. Um, so, right. Uh, so let's replace the uh, carrot M's uh, with carriage returns. Uh, and we also accidentally blew away an escape there too. Uh, carriage return. Okay. Um, mixing case here. Okay. So this will actually now function uh, as it's written. So now I want to uh, add this command to my Vim. I want to map it right now, but I don't want to restart Vim or anything. So I'm going to, uh, into register L, I'm going to yank this line, uh, and then I'm going to, on the command line, I'm going to use con control R 
followed by the register name to dump the contents in here. I'm gonna run it. Uh, now that binding should exist in Vim. So I come in here, I highlight it in visual mode, and I do uh, leader BED. And there we are. So uh, that's how to record a macro uh, that does some, a little minor refactoring for you. Uh, and then I showed you how to uh, bind it permanently in your VimRC. So if you write something really useful, you can come back to it. I encourage you to look out for places where you're doing simple repetitive tasks like this. Uh, it's really great to start writing it. Just a little handful of macros that make your life easier. You're going to smile a little bit every time you use them. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, that's all for me. Take care.